Are you guys watching anything else this season or are you guys waiting to see what gets hype and what gets I talked about? I want to watch, uh, what the fuck's called Wonder Egg Priority? That is Wait. Wonder Egg Priority. Yeah, weirdest fucking title, but I watched the trailer of it because I heard so many people, or a lot of people were asking me like, hey, have you seen the first episode of this? I was like, that doesn't even sound like a real anime. <laughs> Wonder Egg, you know, like Wonder Egg Priority. That, that, yeah. that sounds made up. Yeah. But then I checked out the trailer. I was like, actually, this kind of looks fire. Yeah, it's, it's too early to tell how it's going to go mm. because I've watched the first episode. What is it about? That is, it's it's one of those shows where I'm just like, I don't even know what it's about. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's one of those weird shows. I'll wait, I'll wait. You know, you know, I'll, I'll wait yeah. till it finishes. Yeah, that, 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 I asked people, I was like, what's it about? And people just said, just watch it. It, it feels like a Just like an Ikuhara show or something like that. It does. Or like Sarah Zanmai no, or some or something or something, or something like that. I'm, I'm just I'm just throwing out words that kind of just. Bro, you could be speaking right in now. tongues right now. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> it, it gives me like a slight like Tatami Galaxy vibe to it. You know, like kind of yeah. just like it's like so strange that it's hard to describe. Kind yeah. of vibe to it. What I what I will say it it feels like for example it feels like Madoka Magica directed by Ikuhara. Mm. Um, it's it's what the fuck are you guys talking? About? <laughs> what the fuck are you saying? So Ikuhara is the director that made Sarah Zanmai, Maru uh, Penguin Drum. Mm. Um, what else has he made? What else has Ikuhara made? Mainly? What what's that magical girl one day? It does? doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You yeah, don't. You've not matter. seen any of his works. Yeah. Right, but he makes a lot of weird stuff, and it's. I I watched the first episode, and it it's the what I will say. I can't really spoil it because I don't even understand the first episode. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's a story that it it, it presents the events of this world out of order, right? Mm. So you get. Oh my god, I'm I'm like racking my brain to it, figure out how I can describe of, this it, show. It's, it's kind of presents its story like uh like a boogie pop phantom kind of. Thing, yes, right? it's yeah. it's. It is very reminiscent of Biggie Pop fans. I just realized like, if you have no context of what you're talking about, it actually just sounds like you guys are talking about gibberish. <laughs> What's the weirdest anime you've watched, Connor? Where I don't, you just- I don't fucking know. Like, like a lot of the, when people are like, dude, you gotta watch this anime, it's so it's, cool. It's kind of like it's on like, the same vein as Serial Experiments Lane, Boogie Pop Phantom. I, yeah. I, I feel like you just haven't watched any yeah, of those types of, the, of sometimes shows. You, watch, you put those shows on, you're like, there's no way you could enjoy this without doing like four tabs of acid. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Yeah, like it, a lot of shows are like that. And then I like, mean, maybe with Serial Experiments Lane, but I, I'd argue that like something like Boogie Bot Phantom is yeah, more maybe, than I enjoyable. I don't, I, don't really, I don't really concern myself. With yeah, that. I mean, it's something where you have to be in a very specific mood to enjoy it mm. because it's not something you can just put on yeah. and just enjoy it as an entertainment as like a coherent story or something. Mm. But what I will say is out of, because for my seasonal video, I watch every, the first two episodes of like every of new anime mm. and out of everything I watched, it's the one where I watched it didn't know what was going on. Didn't fully understand it, All but right. I, it stuck with me. Mm. You know, it it, it really, it, it was really the one where I kept thinking about it after it had ended. After mm. I'd watched everything else, I was mm. just like, man, that was, I don't know what it is, but I keep thinking about One Direct Priority and I don't know what it is exactly about One Direct Priority that makes me latch onto it, but there's something, I feel something special. Uh, no, I get it. that. I kind of, I kind of, got that same feeling the first time I watched like the first episode of like Fully Cooly, mm -hmm. right? It's like, I don't know what the fuck is happening. Like mm -hmm. this yeah. dude's forehead, little robot just came out of yeah, it. There's sometimes, like, go yeah. on a moped so, with so, the bass guitar. You I mean, I, like, I can give you a play by play of what happens in Wonder Egg. So this girl, the, there's this like short hooded, like uh, she wears like a yellow hoodie girl. I don't need that um, much detail. And <laughs> <laughs> the, the first scene is that a fucking cicada comes along and starts mm -hmm. talking to her and you're like, okay, whatever, cool. She can talk to cicadas. <laughs> and then she gets given an egg and then she wonders what to do with this egg. And then she's sitting on the toilet and then the toilet paper starts talking to her. And she's like, yo, what the fuck? And then the egg hatches and it turns out that it's a girl hatches out the egg. What the? <laughs> I think I'll just watch. I, think, I don't want to spoil too much, but that sounds yeah. fun. I mean, if, if it, you know, if the weeks go on and everyone's still like, yeah, it's a good show, I'll yeah. watch it. I mean, it, I, from what I can understand about the first episode, it deals with a lot of, themes of depression and suicide. Mm. And it seems like it's a, it, we get glimpses into a backstory because, mm. you know, we get glimpses into is, is this a dream world or is mm. this the imagining things or what's kind of going on? We're, we only get hints at everything. I, I feel like, again, it's it's kind of like a modern spin on Fully Cooley, right? Cause like Fully Cooley is kind of the same where it's like, 
it kind of used its like absurd imagery to present deeper meanings. Yeah, it's it, like I said, it's way too early to tell what the show is going to be about and mm. how good it is. But like I said, out of everything I watched, it stuck out to me the most. Yeah, that's why I, I really want to watch that's it. That's the one I yeah. thought about the most. Mm. Um, but I don't know if you would yeah, enjoy Yeah, what is some- the weirdest anime you've seen? I don't fucking know. I think you'd have to go through my list, but then I, I was probably <laughs> well, we did that. We did that yeah, last yeah. week, or there's yeah. probably someone there that I like. Have you ever watched, watched an anime or a show, and you were just like, "What the fuck did I just watch?" That made zero yeah. sense to me. Like, kind of like, like, like not in like the vein of like you know this was shit kind of thing, but like just genuinely probably. the storytelling was so kind of like weird. on the same lines as the ending of Evangelion, yeah. or like a you know like a tech on King Creed or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the first time I watched Evangelion, I was like, "Oh, what the fuck." <laughs> All right. I was like, oh, that's how they're gonna end it. And like, you know, some people love finding the deeper meaning in that. And I'm yeah. just like, I was a bit shit. I'm just gonna get on with my life. <laughs> like it kind of, I just, I just really concerned me. I just, I wish I cared, but I like, I don't. And then like maybe a, a video will be my recommendation. That convenient monkey bro- mode yeah. activation. Yeah. 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 I think I've like programmed my brain to like, just make my life easier. So like yeah. when yeah. I want to just, you know, stuff like that, that might drive some people mad. I'm just like monkey forget. Monkey move on. I just find it funny how like, considering like in a previous episode, you said like how you love to challenge yourself every day. You definitely do not like to challenge yourself on anime. But like what, what is what is thinking about the end of, end of Evangelion challenging you in any way? How is that? Well, not necessarily in the Viva, but like, you know, something like, you know, like a fully cool or like a tech con King Creed where it's like, there are deeper meanings behind. Why, 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 would, why would that where, be a where, challenge? Okay, here's the thing where you watch it once and you can't get everything you, you can't yeah, enjoy yeah, it fully like from that. just like yeah, in, watching it once. Yeah. yeah. But like, why would that challenge you though? It's all in challenge as in like, it makes you think about its themings more and kind of challenges your, I guess, like perception of how you like consume it, I guess. It's hard to describe. Like it it, it, chal- it challenges, it, ugh, fuck. I'm, yeah, I'm, like, I'm, right, like, <laughs> how do you explain it? It's I'm, like- I've broke them. <laughs> <laughs> I Like when I watch those things where it's like the deeper meaning, everything, yeah. more often than not, like I, I, I realize that, that that's what they're doing. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then I'll just, I'll like go on Google and I'll be like, what were they trying to say? But like, don't you like, cause I find like some enjoyment in kind of watching it and trying to figure it out myself. You know what I mean? Okay, no, sometimes, I, 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 sometimes. I, I, I got a good way to describe okay, it. It's, okay. it's like unraveling a puzzle by yourself, mm, mm, mm. and it's it's like playing a puzzle game, right? You're you're given the pieces, and you know you're not told what the right answer is, but it's up to you, and it's up to you to unravel it yourself. Mm. And or, or it's it's more like it's more like you've given a bunch of pieces, and as you're playing around with the pieces, you realize that it's a puzzle that can yeah. be solved. I guess you know what I mean? this is like I love math, right? Because. Yeah. There, there is a problem and it is always very clearly defined as yeah. such, right? Okay. Yeah, it's it's not with, logical. With like, yeah, with stories and all that kind of stuff, it's, I don't like that I have to figure out what this guy was thinking about. Yeah. Like, because right. sometimes I might get a meaning that is not even remotely close to what he was thinking or the author mm-hmm. was thinking when they were writing the thing down. Yeah. And right. to me, that bothers me that I can just wildly get the answer wrong and right. I'll never be corrected. But I don't that, like that. But you assume that that, there's a right answer. Yeah. Well, it's- What if you didn't know there was a right answer? Well, like, yeah, that's the, and that's the problem is that I don't like that when there's like, when it's for, just like an, an interpretation and it's like, you just make up what you want. And then it's like, right. then what? But what I do would I argue, get out But of I would that? argue that a great story can still entertain you in that aspect, whether it is the actual correct answer or not. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't really go around, like think about it much. I guess that's the, yeah. the thing. Right? <laughs> I just, I watch it and I, I like whatever thoughts I have when I finish, I'm like, right. cool, yeah. that's what I'm gonna leave with. Mm. And most of the time I don't really care to try and find the deeper meaning in it. Um, yeah. And so I think, again, I know this is like, that's such monkey brain. You can't appreciate <laughs> fine art, et cetera, et cetera. But no, like, I, I, no, no, I I'd say it, that's, that's even more normal. I, yeah, yeah, at the end of the day, I just don't care. Like, I, think, <laughs> I, I think people like me who like actually like trying to find the deeper meaning, I think we're the minority. Yeah, I, th- I think I'm the minority here because yeah. I talk about, I, the reason I value this so much is because there has been time where like a piece of media has literally affected sometimes the way I think mm. or the way I view life. Mm. So because I know it can have that effect, I, you know, I try to search it out whenever yeah. I can. Like, when, whenever I find that there might be even a glimpse that there might be a deeper meaning, yeah. I love going into it. I yeah. know, I just like, I like everything to be efficient. I like everything to be <laughs> done You well. basically like everything like on methodical. a silver platter, right? No, no, not at all. I like, I like it when things are very clearly defined, the rules, like this is why I like, I always, like I never ever did any 
artistic subjects in school. Right. Yeah. I don't like how it's it's all like a mess and it's totally interpretation. Yeah. I like how in math and physics and life the rules they <laughs> they, they make sense and you can you can like take them in and you can like. Oh, I mean, okay. no, I get like you know math, I, math and physics were my favorite for too. Me, but for I, me, it's not fun when it, I'm like reading a book or something mm. and I'm doing this and I'm, I'm just being presented with a bunch of nonsense that I'm up, I have to make sense of myself. Well, I would argue then that if it's a bunch of nonsense without an interpretation, then mm. that's just a bad story. Sometimes, you yeah. Know? I mean, sometimes you can, make your own, you can make your own thoughts up from whatever's being presented to you mm. and you're just kind of like, cool. <laughs> all right, nice. <laughs> I, I came up with what I think happened and then it's like, all right, well, that's what I think. Yeah, because like, yeah. I would argue that like the best stories are the ones where you can read it like someone like you can read it where like mm. you don't have to th even think about the fact that there might possibly be a deeper meaning and it's still enjoyable. And yeah. at the same time, people like me that like to look for deeper meanings can yeah. also enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Right? like not to get too philosophical, but you know, why why do we watch entertainment? It's to feel things, it's, it's mm. to make- it's, it's source music. <laughs> 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 but like that, that's, the end, that's the end or be all, right? We, yeah. we watch entertainment to make us feel something, whatever you mm. want to feel, whether it's like fucking adrenaline, sometimes you just want to feel depressed or whatever, you know, it's, and watching something like, for example, the ending episode of Evangelion, I've, I remember the first time I watched it, I fucking hated it. Cause I'm just like, mm. why, why can I not just be given the answer? Why, why is the answer not just, you know, being presented to me on like a golden platter? Mm. You know, that's what I wanted. And then as I grew older and I, it, it stuck with me, and I've rewatched it and I'm just like, oh, this is this is making me feel I'm, different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. By I'm sure in future, it. maybe I'll change my mind on it. But right now for me, me uh, like entertainment and media, is just like, I just want to relax. Mm -hmm. And thinking is not relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get on with it. Cause I'm, I'm working so goddamn much and I just want to do the things I want to do. And to me, entertainment is purely like a gas stop. <laughs> on, on my destination. It's like, let's just stop for a moment and have some fun and then I'll get no, back no, on. No, I mean, I get that too. Like, it's yeah. not like every fucking piece of no, entertainment like, I watch is like mind bending it's, and it's, it's like- It's like I said, sometimes you just need to be in a very specific yeah, mood yeah, yeah. to enjoy this piece of media. Sometimes There's, I'm just like, you know what? Yeah. I want to feel pretentious right now. Yeah. Like I, I kind of want to like figure out if this has a deeper yeah. meaning. Yeah, it's, which it's, is why like, I, 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 when I speak to people who talk like that, that about the media they like, I'm like, you know, part of me is envious because I don't care for that. But because I think, and I think a lot of people are envious of that. Because I think when yeah. you meet a lot of people, they'll claim that they can see the finer meaning in art and yeah. all that. And most of the time, they have no fucking idea. Mm. Um, but you know, I don't know. I I'm just completely open with the fact that I'm like, I I, I don't care. I I don't care to care. Yeah, uh, yeah and I, mean, I like I mean, what I like. What fair what enough, what I don't enough. understand is the other extreme where it's people who can't seem to enjoy media unless there is something deeper mm. about it. Like I. There are times when I just want to watch a fucking shitty isekai and just not have to think, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I get, it's like the people who like think that every single piece of entertainment or media has some kind of deeper meaning under it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, no, uh, anime reviewer, non non biori has no deeper meaning. It's just a fucking slice of life. Like just, so, just chill. That just feels like privilege the problem. <laughs> it's like, my only problem is life in life is that my media that I consume doesn't yeah. have enough- It's meaningless. It's like, it's like, oh my, how privileged are you to be where that's a concern? You know what I mean? Like- First world problem. That is like the <laughs> biggest first world problem where like you can't get enough fine art that excites you. You know what I mean? That's like literally like billionaire problem. Yeah. <laughs> no, what, what pisses me off even more is like, you can have your own interpretation of the media, right? Mm. That, that's, that's, that's very normal for everything. But what pisses me off is when people project their own meaning Onto this piece yeah, of media, I mean, like so uh, much. Like, like I remember, I... I remember with Attack on Titan when you know the basement thing happened, and then there were articles to be like, "Oh yeah, this is promoting Nazism and stuff like that." It's and like, I'm just like, it's, oh. "No, it's not." Oh god, it gets it gets to a point where there's a difference between you know analyzing it and yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. interpreting it in your own way, and just they, it. There's even when they know the right answer as well, right? It's just yeah. like, no, no, I don't care what the author said. <laughs> this is what it actually means. He just doesn't know it yet. It's like, yeah. no, I'm pretty sure if the author said that this is what it means, that's what it fucking means. Well, it's, I mean, there's plenty of cases of where like the author loses control over the work. Well, I mean, isn't that like the whole thing with Ava, right? Where like- Pepe so the frog rip. The, the death of the author, right? Or whatever.